What's up YouTube, AVI back with another video. Here we got a Chrysler minivan town and country review, 2012 edition. And I believe this is the touring model, which is like the third trim. And then there's a, there's a better model above this, I believe. But yeah, this is what we got here. It's the family hauler. Right now we're in North Carolina and we're originally from Connecticut. So we, we use this van to drive back and forth all the time. And it just hit 90,000 miles, so figured why not give it a review and show you some of the quirks and features, if you will. Uh, so let's begin here at the front. Uh, we do have some chrome trimming on the grill and on the bottom grill here around the fog lights, things like that. It is a Chrysler, so it's, it's known for its luxury stuff. Uh, halogen headlights and high beams and turn signals all there all simple and uh, a mod we have up front actually is we have one of these deer whatever deer high pitch noise makers uh it's just a, i don't know just to keep away from the deers i don't know if it really works it's just a little mod that we got going on and down on the tires here we have some rusty rims but you know, we, we only like take this car out, you know, daily driver kind of thing. So we're not really worried about the appearance. And I think here there used to be like the Chrysler logo, but I think it just worn off over time. But yeah, looks like the brake caliper is almost hitting the, the edge of the rim too. But yeah, overall great, great minivan here going on. And actually, I remember when I was in high school and I would look up minivan or Chrysler minivans just because I always wanted one I don't know it's like something I told my dad to get and I was always interested in this car mainly because of the stow and go feature so yeah I'll get to that pretty soon but yeah this is like the minivan I always wanted as a kid and here we are we finally got it and on the side here you got this antenna not a huge fan but it's still standing tall Color match side mirrors here and the Chrysler badge all throughout the side side moldings all leather seating with leather armrests here dark wood fake uh, wood grain trim whatever and you got navigation, Bluetooth audio, fancy clock, if you will. Uh, climate control, dual, dual zone, but no heated or ventilated seats, which is kind of a bummer. And then you got a bunch of storage options. You got this big rectangle storage unit here. You got two cup holders up here with some coin slots. And then you got a stubby, or, uh, what do you call this? Uh, you know, another storage unit. And you got, like, two glove compartments. This one's locked right now. And then on the doors, pretty nice looking. Uh, storage down here and then storage along here. And then you got this big center console here. Move this out of the way. Storage down here facing the driver four four little cup holders for some water bottles down here more storage and if you wanted to give your rear passenger some cup holder usage you just extend that using that button here a little dirty but you know it's just how it is with a daily now let's take a look in the back One touch automatic opening the doors. No no problems with it after all these years. 2012 vehicle still running fine. Here's the stow and go seat seating option here. You got two captain's chairs, the leather too. And we have this. This is another mod, if you will. We we got these carpets, or no, what am I saying? Like weather carpeting. They're rubberized. And they just kind of go along the whole the back side here. Um, and if you want the stow and go to work, stow and go. 
you want it to work fine. You gotta move the front seat all the way up. And I'm picking the passenger side just because the driver is, is automatic adjustments, which is kind of a hassle because it does take a while to move the seats up. But so how this works is you would just lift this up here, just like that. And that just opens this up. Just like that. And then this is truly like one touch, if you will. It just kind of hangs itself there. And then holding this, lift this lever up, and it kind of jerks the seat forward, which is why I like to use two hands, but you could use one hand. Just like that. Kind of see it like that. And it kind of just falls in place. You do have to push it in. Yeah, and it's in. And then you just close it. And you got some flatness going along here. So this is truly like a truck, and we use it like a truck too. We use it like for, for long items, TVs, mulch. We use it, uh, we just had like 20 bags of mulch we just brought in. And yeah, you can see even more modage there. We cut holes here just so these seats can, can attach right here and the third row can have some floor mats. So yeah, it does look nice and it's a nice feature. If we look along the door side, we do have a cup holder, which comes in handy after long drives. Uh, this opens the door automatically. Just push this button. And the windows don't roll down all the way. They just kind of roll down up to here. Um, but yeah, let's, let's open that up. I want to show you guys here. You guys can also lift this lever. It'll just give you some access to the third row. But I really just want to show you guys here. The behind the driver, you have these cool amenities like some aux ports uh, that you'll never use, power out it, a power outlet, and one fifteen volt house household power outlet. Uh, never used it, but it's it comes in handy, I guess, if you need it. Put this down. You just smack that back down. Put the headset. <laughs> headrest up there and you got yourself a chair by the way these do have to be up but it's nice to have some armrests and they do adjust too back and forth and this lever you can incline or recline the seat too oh jeez Yeah, let's go to the back. We've used this third row sometimes, not too many times, but it is nice and roomy here. And these, this third row window does open up. It's just the driver has to control it. But here you have your like media center on the roof here you push this and you get a TV you get some TV action going with a remote now it's not a TV it does have a DVD player up in the in the front so you do need to have like a nice driver and a nice passenger to plug it in for you and then you got your headset here Bluetooth maybe you only use this once Another headset. This this isn't stock. But, but another headset, and then back here, just some storage. And you do have these spotlights, which run around the whole vehicle too, which are nice. Let's see your vents, obviously, and some coat hangers. And yeah, back here, two cup holders. And some storage. And yeah, and really nice and cozy here. Let's put this 
this back up. I forgot to show you guys too. Here in the front, some glasses holder. Whoops. And it also acts as so you can see your passengers too. Which is nice. And then you have your controls for the doors, the trunk. And what's that? Not sure. Oh, I believe that's for the, I don't know, for your passengers to actually open the doors by themselves. So, right, let's check out the trunk here. You can open the trunk just by lifting this lever back here. And you can also do it on your key fob. Just press it twice. And you do have some deep storage already, being a third row, you know, kind of vehicle. So a lot of storage here, some side storage back here. I believe your jack is behind there too, the jack symbol. And you also have this flashlight, which I think is pretty quirky. Still works, just in case for emergencies, if you need it. And then I'll show you guys how to bring out, bring down the third row. They have these numbered for you, which is really convenient. So first you bring down the headrest. And you pull number two. Then pull three, and that does something inside. And then four brings it all together. So yeah, it's really simple. But I still help my parents. Uh, I don't know why they need help with this. Two, three... For. We do like to have them all down because we don't have, we're not mainly focused on passengers, we're more like storing stuff and hauling things, so I'll bring that seat back up too eventually. But yeah, you can really see how much uh, storage you can really put in this truck with everything down flat. It's pretty nice and convenient. And you can close it manually. Or you just press this button. So after like nine years, if you will, owning this vehicle, really nothing, nothing problematic has happened. AC still blows cold, drives like a dream. It's a V6 too. So I think, I believe it's 330, 360 horsepower. Let's check it out here. Embarrassing, I'm a car guy. Okay, that'll do it. It's a little awkward. No hood struts, but yeah, 3.6 liter V6 Pentastar, is that what they call it? These Chrysler engines, not a Hemi. Battery in the front. All we do for maintenance here is we just do oil changes and tire rotations. Nothing else. Well, that's a bad sign though. You got some bubblage going on. That means there's rust starting to form. And let's start her up here. Show you guys the mileage. You can already see it, 90,000 we just hit. Chrysler. Sounds cool. Doors here. Ah, oh, Jesus! Open up the trunk. I wish I can close that door, but I can't. Close the trunk again, though. And we'll just leave that open. Alrighty, here. Here's the infotainment system. You got 
DVD, you want to open it, open it up, play some DVDs, you got it right there. Okay, navigation, like I said, radio, controls, Bluetooth, phone, audio, main menu. You can even change the, the picture, I believe, in this if you wanted to. Aux cord, you don't see that often. Well, not anymore. And then you have a USB port down in this storage compartment. Uh, one thing is, if you actually open this, you got to make sure you close it on both sides. Because you can see this is still open, so make sure it's on both sides. And that reminds me, i got to show you something in the back too. Um, but yeah, going along this system. Uh, you got some basic info here. Nothing really crazy. You got your compass down there too, the west, going west. Mm, yeah. I'm not gonna the rev the engine just because it's an old it's an oldie here. And then you got your headlights automatic, turn them completely off. Parking lights, fog lights too. If you push it down, headlights. Yeah, so we're gonna leave it on auto. You can adjust the lights. And when you put the lights all the way up, you can see this bluish hue that runs along the center control stack back there for the passengers. But it does get distracting at night, so we'll put it down. And some more dimage going here. Um, yeah, overall, great running car. Uh, it's gave us no issues from the time of ownership. We do have this thing that holds the phone and it's been melting so we got to clean it up with some goo gone pretty soon so make sure you watch the video on how we clean that goo gone uh sticky residue stuff just put a card up there and yeah just more spotlights uh home garage interface there here's some window controls both automatic in the front you can lock it here in the back and here's where it controls your third row you just just push it down actually you can see them flare out close them up here we go right, and then just something i want to show back here uh some of the things we've noticed over time is while you're driving down you actually can feel this or hear this flapping against the, the chair so what we've done is we put like some socks or towels just to kind of dampen the sound, uh, which is kind of like a cheap little thing that we got going on. I don't know uh, why they would have something like that. But yeah, so that's just what we've done. Uh, let us know if you guys do the same thing. Uh, yeah. Let's see, anything else? We do have roof racks, but we've never used them either. Yeah, I mean overall the style looks great. I just I don't like the minivan look, but it does work. It's functionable. And oh, got the dog to go on. Got a visitor here. Alright, so to close off this video, just wanted to mention I did get a chance to clean off that goo stuff so his windshield's looking clean. And now I wanna show you guys how to bring up that seat. So, Maggie, can you move? Move a little. Move, excuse me. Let's see, bring this up. Excuse me. No, no, no. You're gonna have to move, go over there. Yeah, good girl, good girl, good girl. Good girl. So you have this exposed. Champ, Maggie, watch out. And you hold, you bring this up by this handle. Dogs freak out. Oh, pretty hard. Maybe it has to do with that mat. What the hey? Don't embarrass me now. Oh gosh, maybe the seat needs to be moved up some more.
like that. And then it clicks back in place. All right, well that was hard for no reason. And then on top of that, you do have storage underneath the, the, the chairs there. So maybe your dogs can go in. But we'll just close it up. Lock them in. So if you did like this video and you stayed till the end, uh, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, so we can continue more videos like this. And uh, just like that, AVI out. Mm -hmm.